kuangalia investment yetu hapa Mombasa KOT1 KOT2 uh, kuangalia investment uh, Kenya oil refinery na vile tutamipangilio ya kwenda huko mbele uh, na utaratibu wa kazi wa petroli uh, kwa sasa wajua kwamba petroli yote inaingia kwa region ya Kenya na Uganda Rwanda inatokea uh, port yetu wa Mombasa so it's a very big investment for us and as a new cabinet secretary for energy and petroleum I'm basically familiarizing myself but more importantly looking at uh, the plan on how to to improve and strengthen this area so that we become a hub not only for the for the immediate region but all the way down to um, the other regional areas like DRC and looking at how to have security of supply of products being held in Mombasa for the entire region. Um, we will also be looking at investments to support the big investment that has been done on KOT2 to ensure that the capacities are matched. You know, we are able to evacuate from KOT2 very quickly, but we don't have enough tank farms. The pipeline evacuating to Mombasa, to uh, Interland, uh, Nairobi, Eldorate, and all the way to the other countries uh, needs capacity to be improved so that we can push the product quickly and ensure that uh, we do not incur extra financing cost on the on the on the on the credits that we are given to buy the products, or we do not have a um, demorage, which can be inherent when the planning of how to evacuate is not matched. So we'll be working to match capacity of KOT2, of course there is KOT1 and Simansi oil terminal, together with the storage and the evacuation upcountry into the intraland. It's a big investment. Uh, KOT2 has got uh, capacity to hold a number of vessels. At the moment, um, even if we were to push products quickly as per the capacity of the oil terminal, like I mentioned, we have the challenge of storage and we have the challenge of evacuation. So we are working on that. That will be our next plan. Uh, investment is, depends on the wealth of the country. So we'll be seriously working on the investment, like I said, to match the KOT21 and Shimansi oil terminal to ensure that we are pushing the products uh, as quick as possible. And like I said, reduce demorage, reduce cost of financing, and so on and so forth. Thank you.